Let's do a super simple redo of this jar from Dollar Tree. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know, and if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so I got this Dollar Tree jar, got it at, mm, I think it was out of state. Um, I removed the little bow and the cork that it came with. Save them, we'll use them later. Perfect. Now I'm gonna paint the entirety of the jar with this chalk paint. Um, I think the color is Java, and I'm gonna do the sides, the neck of it, and the bottom. I did not do the very tippity top. Like, you see how it's got a little bit of a ridge around the neck? I did not do that part. All right, so do the whole thing, okay? Even the bottom, easy peasy though, okay? Okay. And I know you're probably asking, why? Why are you doing that? There's a method to my madness. You'll see, I promise. Trust the process. So let it dry. Once it's dry, then I'm gonna go back in with another chalk paint, and this is sheepskin is the color, and I'm gonna go over all of it. Now I started with brushing it on, and I just, you know how I am about brush strokes? I don't like it, and it kind of peels the paint off. Very irritating. So then I went back with a dauber, I'm telling you, the dauber never does me wrong. I love it. So I go over, put the dauber in some paint, and then just dab all over the jar. Um, the harder you press, the more likelihood that you'll peel or um, smear the paint underneath. So just be you know, mindful about how much pressure you're putting on. Um, I like this dabbing, dabbing method only because it gets in between all of those little dots and... I love it. Now, you're going to see why I painted it brown. Because when we paint it brown, when we go later, you'll see I'm going to sand it. That brown from the other side will pick up and it'll look really dark. This would be super cool if you painted it also different colors first. Like if you did a blue or a pink or a purple or any other colors. And then you'd put the white on top and then you sand later. That bottom color is going to shine through you'll see. It's wild. I love it. It's super cool. All right, so you dabbed everything, right? Okay, let it dry. Once it's, and I did the bottom as well. I didn't do it fully because I liked the way that looked. All right, so here it is. I'm making sure that it's nice and dry. Then I'm going to go over and sand it. Again, I like the distress vibe, so that's why I do this. If you don't, then don't do that. But look at how cool. Do you see? It looks like it's brown underneath, but really, I'm probably scraping all the paint off but it's picking up the brown from the other side of the glass jar. Does that make sense? That's why it would be super cool if you did another color. I'm gonna have to try it and see, but look at how pretty. This looks so distressed and vintage and oh, I just love it. Um, I put the ribbon back on. You don't have to use the same ribbon. I was just trying to stay with you know what I already had and I just tied it in a bow. You could put the cork back in and that's cute, right? Or you could put some little florals in. And because this is a glass jar and you didn't paint the inside, you could put real flowers in it. But look at how pretty this looks. Are you kidding me? Oh, it fits my decor. I love it. And it was super simple. Win-win on my in my book. Win-win. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.